Hello, I am Dr. Ashwini Zoshi from Aloha Lifestyle Reversal Clinic. Today I am going to share what you should know about gestational diabetes. Diabetes which comes in pregnancy is known as gestational diabetes. There are around uh, 1 in 10 pregnant females who would develop gestational diabetes. Now why does it happen? So during pregnancy there is this placenta which connects the mother with the baby. And this placenta has certain enzymes or hormones which are going to antagonize or oppose the action of a chemical known as insulin. As we all know, insulin helps in lowering our blood glucose level and keeping it at a normal state. In some pregnant women, if this hormone secreted through the placenta known as human placental lactogen, they start opposing the action of insulin, then the blood glucose level in the mother will start going up and the mother will develop something known as gestational diabetes. This typically develops between the pregnancy weeks of 24 to 28 weeks. Sometimes females may get diabetes at the onset of pregnancy. That is not gestational diabetes. In those females particularly they might be having it before pregnancy also and it never got detected. Now why we should be scared or worried about this gestational diabetes? See these high blood glucose levels, they are going to cause trouble to the baby. So the baby starts becoming larger, so big babies are born. And these big babies has a, give a problem during delivery and therefore there is a high chance of the females undergoing a caesarean section for delivery of the baby. Along with that, it uh, hampers the maturity of the lungs. So the babies may become breathless when they are born and need to be kept in the intensive care units for close monitoring. Many times these babies paradoxically develop low blood glucose levels when they are born and then also they need to be monitored in the ICU. Along with this, the mothers have a very high uh, amount of um, fluid or liquid which is formed during the pregnancy inside the uterus. This is known as polyhydroenios. So this high amount of fluid leads to early delivery. So many times the woman may not be able to complete her full 9 months term and get delivered early. Along with that there is a, some chance of stillbirth. So the baby may be born uh, dead when the during labor. So looking at these issues, we have to be really careful about detecting this GDM very early or on time, I would say. So who are at risk of getting this GDM? So pregnancy, if it happens as the age of the woman advances, especially after the age of 25 years, more so after the age of 30 years, those females have a higher chance of getting GDM. Along with that, those who have a family history of diabetes, they have a high risk. Females who are overweight before conception, they have a high risk. If they have polycystic ovarian syndrome before pregnancy and have a difficulty in conceiving, they are at a risk of getting gestational diabetes. If they have a sedentary lifestyle before pregnancy, even then they are at high risk of getting it. So especially these class of women we often see in urban India, in the cities, a uh, very high increase, uh, incidence of GDM. So what are the, how do we pick them up? You will be surprised to know that most of these patients do not have any symptoms. Normally a diabetic patient will have increase in thirst, they will feel weak, they will feel uh, th uh, uh, go for urination frequently but these symptoms are not there so we need to test them on time so the perfect timing for testing for gestational diabetes is at 24 weeks of conception now your obstetrician will ask the patient to undergo a glucose challenge test where glucose is given and at one hour two hour intervals the blood glucose levels will be tested normally the fasting blood glucose level in a pregnant woman should be less than 92. If it is more than that, then yes, there is a high chance of she getting gestational diabetes. Also after drinking glucose, if one hour later glucose crosses 140, 
and two hours later it crosses 120 even then she is labeled to have gestational diabetes along with this once the diagnosis is made treatment plan has to be foolproof and started off immediately so how do we go about it what is the treatment so the first and foremost thing is nutrition plan and these patients are advised to un uh, to eat small frequent meals and not load the body with large quantity of calories at one time so that will help keep the post meal sugar less than 120 which we want along with that we cut down simple sugars or carbohydrates and we increase proteins in their diet we increase fiber in their diet along with this they are advised to undergo some exercise may it be a walk after every meal or even nowadays yoga classes are there uh, in areas around and yoga snas are advisable during pregnancy of course under guidance then your doctor will give a plan of medical management which is extremely important now here we do not have much time because the baby will be delivered at the ninth month and we want a healthy baby and a healthy mother so advice by a specialist diabetologist is always mandatory and where we tell the patients on which oral drugs they can be on and only metformin or is advised during pregnancy that to a limited indication and along with that most important medicine is insulin injection all other oral drugs are contraindicated and insulin is available only in the form of injection the technology has gone so far ahead that now these injections are practically painless and they are formed in the uh, pen pens are available so these pens are easy easy to use and your doctor will definitely guide you at what dose when insulin has to be taken and it is advised only for a limited period of time and once delivery happens then the lady will be cured of gestational diabetes once the baby is delivered the mother is cured of uh, gestational diabetes but to keep a close watch at six weeks your doctor will definitely test the mother again whether this diabetes is carried forward or not in few ladies later in life they may develop type 2 diabetes so even after the delivery the mother has to take care of her diet not allow her weight to increase and keep testing at regular intervals so we need we will not miss type 2 diabetes happening later in life so this is what i wanted to share with you all about gestational diabetes a very niche category of patients who need utmost care and attention for a very fruitful outcome thank you for your patient listening Thank you.